Hey guys and gals, uh, it's Jim here, it's New Year's Eve, so uh, Happy New Year's Eve to everybody out there, and Happy New Year's as well, and uh, we're going to try to get in um, a couple um, out-of-box reviews here of my uh, two, uh, two uh, builds that I got for 2022 going to be going on, uh, uh, I know I did a little preview video, show you what I got in the mail, um, we got the uh, USS Enterprise uh, 600 scale um, uh, aircraft carrier uh, from Academy Model Company and the uh, 1400 USS Missouri um, um, battleship pre um, pre 1991. It's basically World War, World War II, um, and that's a, an Academy Academy Model II. Um, upon opening the boxes yesterday, after receiving them. I um, looked through them, and um, there's not much information, any much videos on these as far as builds. There's one gentleman that that, that has got a build video, um, but that's about it. There's a couple unboxings. One of them isn't uh, understandably too uh, too well, and another one is uh, spoken not in English, and you don't know what he's talking about to start with. So I thought I'd do some out-of-box reviews. These are very high-quality kits. They're not like your, you know, Revell. And you, everybody thinks back to Missouri, that old Revell kit. Um, and we'll get to that uh, in the next uh, out-of-box review when I get to the Missouri. This video is going to be on the uh, USS Enterprise. One thing I want to say, and I did call the um, <clears throat> this store where I bought these. Definitely called them. Um... I, I picked these up at Free Time Hobbies. They're located down in North Carolina. I live in the northern part of the state of Illinois. Um, I ordered these late day, late in the day on the 28th of this month. Uh, that evening, I got an email that the status had changed, and they were shipped. Uh, yesterday, the 30th, they arrived at my doorstep early afternoon. Um, that's less than two two days, and that was FedEx. Um, usually, when I order something, any place ships it by FedEx, it's a good week or sometimes a little bit more. Um, less than two days to get these from North Carolina to my doorstep was very impressive, and I definitely definitely called up Free Time Hobbies and let them know how impressed I was with the quality of their service. Um, so yeah and another thing too i ordered these two models um basically the uh aircraft carrier compared to what 150 or more for the tamiya uh uh 350 at scale which this is a downside version i mean when you see the sprues it they're identical even the assembly and stuff um this was like about 38 bucks the missouri was about 55 bucks i did order some uh uh, it, um, generic uh, United States Navy uh, uh, railing for, sh for ships uh, throw, throw that in but anything over $100 you got flat rate shipping for $6.95 no matter how much you ordered after that so um, these they did come in two separate bucket, boxes because they were both boxes were pretty large to pack the kits into but um, yeah for $6.95 in less than two full days to get from down in North Carolina, Carolina to my house, and that was pretty in, impressive, and stuff. So, um, yeah. Um, but uh, when I saw the quality of these kits, you know, I used to think of Academy as kind of like you know the old Aurora kits, uh, even Lindbergh stuff like that. You know, I've seen some reviews on Academy, different uh, small scale um, airplanes, World War One, World War Two type airplanes and stuff. A lot of them they carry at Hobby Lobby, and uh, the guys said they had a lot of issues, fit wasn't right. But these, I don't know if the company has beefed itself up since then, or they've got um, you know different ways they do things but um when you see the the, the uh, sprues with the there is no flash on these parts whatsoever um it's they're they're pretty impressive and i'm really really astonished at the quality of these two kits so um and they do make other uh ship models too besides these so um they're they just don't do them in the common scales they're like kind of off scale uh, scale sizes and stuff like that, but um, nonetheless, they're they're the decent sizes, and what I was looking for. So um, let's get on with it. I'm gonna get this out of the way. I'm gonna do the 
Missouri later on. So I'm going to move that out of the way. So the first thing we'll do is I'll throw up the uh, the hull. It's one piece as far as the halves go, but it's two pieces, pretty much similar to the Tamiya kit, the 350th scale. The only difference is this is 22 inches, the Tamiya is 36 inches, so you're looking at a, a, a 14 inch difference in size, but this is still pretty good size and everything. But um, the hull comes in two pieces, so you will have some seam work. There's a couple little holes and locating pins that kind of snaps in. You know, you'll still be gluing it. There's another little piece notched out there. And there's some tabs inside of this part where it'll locate and stuff. But um, uh, trial fit yesterday evening looking over some of the stuff and things like that. You'll need to do a little bit of sanding on this uh, glue joint part on the inner part to make it fit just right. And you'll still have a little bit of seam work, but it'll be, 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 a, be of uh, the least... You know, it'll be minimal. Um, we'll have to sand the seam line on the hull. But the nice thing about it is um, the, the, two, the two halves of the injection aren't, uh, you know, mislocated. It's pretty pretty flat all the way across other than that seam line and a couple little nubs there. So um, a lot of detail on it and everything. Um, I don't know if you'll pick it up. You can kind of faintly see. If I get it, the light to hit it just right, you'll see right there a couple little uh, mark lines there. You can't really feel them when you run your finger across them, but it's actually the um, lines that they got laid out on the uh, injection on the molded part um, where you'll where you'll mask off for your boot line and everything. That black stripe that goes between the hall red and the and the gray the gray rest of the hall, and it carries through to this uh, front piece too. You can kind of kind of pick it up right there and I turn it certain ways and everything there you go right there but there's <clears throat> a lot of detail on it so um that's the hall so we're gonna get that out of the way and get some of these big parts out of the way first nice thing about this kit compared to the larger 350 scale a couple good points a little drawback for one, it's one piece. You don't have to worry about any kind of seam lines. I think that to me, one comes in three three pieces, so you got to worry about joint seam lines and stuff like that. But they do have four screw holes locations, and there are four uh, uh, tabs in the uh, in the bottom part of the hull that the screws uh, joint you know meet into. Um, so there will be some sometimes models if they include screws they give you a little uh, cap that goes over them and you got very little you know work to do to blend them in but in this case you'll have to do a little putty work just mask off around the area just get the putty into where you want it let it dry sand it down see if you need to fill in any more cracks or anything you'll be good to go um, another drawback it does not come with decals for any of the deck markings. So as far as all these stripes, they are molded on there, so it's not going to be hard to mask them. But that's the one thing you'll have to paint them on. There's no decals. And since this is an odd size, um, there's no aftermarket decals available for it either. The elevators are permanently in the up position. Um, you know that they do give you pieces for your... Um, hangar bay they'll have doors on them i imagine if you wanted to you could uh, uh open them up you could i don't plan on it and you can kind of create a little uh um scratch build hangar deck in there if you wanted to go that route i know some people uh, do that kind of stuff um uh, i don't plan on doing it i'm just uh building it you know as is out of the box with the addition of photo etch railings but um, they do give you decals for like these rectangular areas, the, uh, the panels that lift when the planes are ready to uh, launch with the catapults to um, keep the truss from shooting all over the place. They do give you the little yellow rectangular de decals that go around those. They give you your number 65 uh, decals for your, uh, um, your tower and your... Uh, they don't... The one on the front of the um, flight deck, you'll have to uh, paint that too. Um, so yeah, you'll have to do some paint work on this as far as around the elevators. They got it You can see a little bit of raised detail. So they have to mask off That's usually that red and yellow stripe that goes all around the elevators and stuff like that um, I did take a quick look see to see if there's any kind of generic uh, 
aircraft carrier flight deck decals i didn't see nothing whatsoever like that you know maybe shorter replacements if it was a regular scale you'd be in luck but other than that there's nothing included with that so we're going to set that off to the side for now and as you can see um there's still another piece goes on the front with the two little protrusions and stuff but um overall length on this is 22 inches compared to the um 1700 scale nimitz that i built a couple few years back that was um i think about 19 inches or something like that 19 and a half so this is quite a bit larger and um even just the 100 dip, uh, difference in scale makes a big difference in size uh, we're gonna get to uh one of the other drawback parts to this kit um i mean they're usable they're fixable you know a little bit of modifications to them they'll be fine um the aircraft that come i mean they do lack lack in some detail let me get those out of the way all four sprues you get eight of these identical sprues um i mean they do lack in some detail somewhat but hey any uh even the big um rebel um 400 scale enterprise which has uh, been around for ages um they're pretty much not much more than this you do have to glue on the uh the tail fins or rudder, whatever the, um the tail fins like i said the, 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 and all that on all of them um flip these over you'll look the landing gear it uh it really doesn't lack the rear stuff isn't too bad because if you if you put those on the deck you know you won't see them as much but the front landing gear they're pretty uh pretty big um i thought about you could uh, uh, just whack them up and take a little piece of piano wire with a little piece of uh, round um uh, styrene rod make up something uh, or else just take the exacto and just kind of trim them down so they're not as wide make them a little bit narrower and they should look okay you know this like i said this isn't a, a two three hundred dollar uh you know quality high quality museum piece kit and everything so for 38 bucks you know i mean you get what you pay for but it's still like i said it's still not much different uh as far other than the aircraft um and if you thought think think we're oh i could buy the 700 scale to me a paint planes and those are like little model kits in themselves i had to build a bunch of those for my uh, nimitz and it took several months for them and they were so delicate and fragile the clear styrene all you had to do was squeeze a little too hard um hardly any pressure at all and they were the wings were cracking up because they're so paper thin and delicate um but 100 difference in scale size is a big difference in the size of the plane so if you you know if you think twice before you actually you know go out and buy some 700 scale planes or replace these the difference between 600 700 will be noticeable so but that's the planes you know we're not going to go into real big detail on some of this stuff next uh screw we got coming up and this screw did have a couple of loose pieces in the bag but fortunately there's no no damage to them you'll see what i mean by a lot of parts you got these uh couple parts i don't know if they came from which one they came from but we're gonna get them close to where they belong this this screw's got a lot of your uh your main uh tower and everything your island uh, superstructure a lot of the parts for that um as you can see they got window detail everything um now here's where we're getting into all these small parts and everything um on the video on the camera they come out they look a lot bigger and stuff but um there's like uh hundreds of hundreds several hundred parts in this kit and much of this if you look at this and then you go to a um, um, out of box review on the 350 tamiya these screws are going to look identical and the parts are going to pretty much be uh the same locations and the same look the same as well so um so i say all this is is a downsized to me a kit with you know a little bit less quality in the aircraft maybe but other than that um there's not much difference and you know for the price 38 bucks 40 bucks maybe you know total out the door um compared to 150 200 250 i've seen some of the prices on the 350th one um you know if you're if you're not worried about size and you want a decent aircraft model kit hey this one will do it for you so i'm gonna set that off to the side throw the loose parts you can kind of get a idea that's just the inner part of the uh, tower 
and there's walls that outer walls that go out around that with the windows and everything so it's pretty decent size and all that so um, next we're gonna get into the next sprue this has got some of your larger parts the different um, the different things that stick off the side of the hall where they got the different uh, the phalanx uh, 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 cannons and all that kind of stuff um, you got some of your elevator underside of the elevator parts with detail on them and stuff like that um, you got a little vehicle you got some vehicles with that with this with the uh, there's the one with the crane on it and stuff you know which the crane's not solid it's uh you know it's all um, see-through and everything as far as the uh, crane work goes so that's pretty cool but even the smaller parts you know they've got a lot of um, a lot of detail on them and stuff like that um, so yeah this is uh, like I said it's a it's a really well detailed kit it's not you know for 38 bucks you're not getting a piece of you know a couple pieces of plastic with a low parts count and stuff and some of the parts that we're gonna be getting to are so tiny you're gonna have to worry about about them popping out of your tweezers these are uh, there's two sprues identical sprues here this has got a lot of your little tiny parts I don't know what they all are yet because I haven't gone through the complete assembly manual um, there's some of your, uh, your uh, those are different or those are the different braces for your um, those antenna that stick off the side of the um, flight deck and everything there's, there's those little buoys those groupings of buoys that go on the side of the um, um, flight deck and everything on the outer outer wall and all that there's those antenna that that you got they're pretty um pretty delicate too these little round pieces down here there's tons of them i don't know what they are they look to be almost like some type of like uh wheels of some some sort they might be for the fire hose wheel the fire hose assemblies that go around the outer uh, catwalk area and stuff like i said i haven't gone through all the uh, assembly instructions but uh that just gives you an idea some of the parts there's your nameplate you got two of those another screw that's identical to that that's your uh, little bag of the four screws to hold down your flight deck like I was talking about earlier lastly this stand it's not the best quality it's kind of flimsy um the ship will rest on it but it'll be able to slide around so i'll probably just i'm probably going to make myself a nice wooden base and uh and screw the um ship onto the onto a wooden base you know permanently mounted and stuff so that way it don't never go nowhere um but yeah it does come with a base you know and uh, lastly you got your decal sheet which basically you got your different flags there's uh, those four rectangular decals for your boxes. There's some decals there for like uh, um, those go on the uh, superstructure, the island part. There's your 65 for the uh, ship call out. Um, you got your enterprise for the back of the uh, uh, hull, the um, the, the, um, the stern. Um, all the rest of this decal sheet is pretty much all your markings for the aircraft and stuff. And you got all your different naval flags and stuff like that. So. Um, I'm probably going to print all uh, the flags out on paper. The decals I'll use for the airplane and stuff, but the flags I'll print out on paper. Um, I, I never had a decal stick to a um, piece of rigging and stuff without curling up and getting all junk on you. So uh, I, I usually like to uh, use paper ones and stuff. So I'll just make a copy of this on my uh, copy machine and go that route. So, but yeah, that's what you get. For your uh in in the kits the uh, 600 scale aircraft carrier it doesn't seem like a lot but there's uh there's there's on each one of those screws there's probably a hundred or so pieces and stuff so um things like that like i said i haven't gone through the assembly instructions yet or nothing like that but um come time come time that i that i get ready to start building it i'll take a look at everything but before i start uh even thinking about glue or paint so um that's gonna do it this one didn't come packaged too well everything was bagged but uh there was no kind of like reinforcement inside the box like you get with some kits and all that but uh it still came came in uh, good shape no no nothing in there was damaged or anything like that so um 
yeah, this this is probably the one I'll tackle first. Um, even though, even it still will be time consuming, but um, it's a smaller of the two. Um, probably probably about three to four hundred pieces part count somewhere about there maybe. Uh, like I said, a lot of it's small. I do have photo at trailing. And I got that set off to the side so it don't get bent or damaged or anything. I got so much model building stuff laying around. It's getting getting time to do inventory and see what's good and what's not. Especially when it comes to the old uh, paints. The model masters especially. A lot of them haven't been used for so long. I have pulled out a couple that are just dried up to the point where they're like rock hard inside the jars. Um, usually I try to... Try to see if I can't thin them down and get them back to usable, but most times they're still kind of clumpy. I usually try to get in there and scrape all the paint out, clean out the jars, let them sit in some thinner for a couple days, and uh, clean out the jars, use them for when I mix my paints for, for other stuff and all that. So, But um, that's going to be the out-of-box, you know, I'll give you one more in the hand kind of give you an idea you know it's not the not the three foot version but 22 inches is still decent size it's got a pretty good width to it and everything so um it's going to be nice make for a nice build and everything so um yeah so that's that one so till the next time i'll be coming back a little bit later with the um out of box review on the missouri uh yeah, that one's going to be a little bit hard to fit in the camera but um We'll do our best. Um, don't mind the shakiness. I'm doing this with my cell phone. A lot of this bigger stuff is just easier to do. Holding a cell phone and everything. Um, moving the cell phone around because some of the parts are smaller. Some of the parts are bigger. And you just have to move the cell phone either way no matter what. So so sorry about the little bit of shaky shaky. Um, but anyway, um, yeah. I just wanted to share that out of box review with you. So you know what's, what's in the box in case you, uh, any of you are ever interested in it. You know, it's, um, like I say, it's the same quality as a Tamiya kit, so you're not going to go wrong. And if you don't need a big three-foot model sitting around, if you haven't got the space, this fits the bill perfect. And for the price, you can't go wrong and you won't be disappointed. Um, with the painting that's going to be required on the flight deck, I wouldn't consider they, they do have this as a level four. And that's probably one of the reasons why that, and also all the small parts. Uh, there's the... Uh, instruction manual um it is legible they do give you your paint call outs different things like that first thing you do is start with the haul different things like that uh, which is pretty much normal for any uh ship model and then you build up from there pretty much bottom up they got little stairways that go into different areas and stuff like that yeah there's a lot of little tiny parts you know, I wasn't going to go over each individual part on the sprue. Like I said, I haven't gone through the instruction manual yet. But um, there's a lot of little tiny parts involved. So um, it's going to make for a nice detailed kit once it's built up and stuff. And um, when I build it, I, I, I'm not going to do like step by step. I'll probably do um, like updates maybe once a week, once every couple of weeks. Um uh, there's a lot of guys they get on, they build a ship model, and they actually show themselves sitting at the bench gluing the parts together. And it's like an hour of maybe two pieces of photo etch and one part of the kit. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to go that route. I'll probably give you some updates on, you know, how things are coming along. Um, if I see something that looks like it might be um, helpful for other modelers out there that might decide down the line they want to build this. I'll, I'll try to do a video on something. If I run into an issue, I'll try to do a video and let you know how I got by it. But um, um, basically, I just don't want to sit here for the next couple of months building a ship and not do any videos. Uh, and in between working on this, this will kind of, these uh, two kit ship models will kind of get priority, but I do have other stuff I'll be building in between. Uh, maybe I'll take a day off from the ship if I got to let something sit, let some paint cure up overnight or something. And I'll, I'll get back to building other stuff that I normally build. But um, um, this is going to pretty much be uh, two, two big builds for this uh, coming year. So, um, but anyway, um, as you could say, just that one little area there, there's a lot of parts just for that one little bottom part of an elevator assembly and stuff like that. So, um, so yeah. Anyway, we're not going to go through the whole manual. Everybody knows what a 
assembly manual looks like these days. So, so for now, that's going to do it. So I'd like to, like to thank all my subscribers. Um, hope this video was a little bit helpful. If anybody's interested in purchasing one of these down the line, um, I got these at Free Time Hobby. Um, I don't know if they, they I, I didn't see both of them. I think I saw the Missouri on Hobby Link, which I ordered a lot of my paints and stuff like that. I've ordered quite a few kits from them too through the years. Um, things like that, but, um, yeah, if you just go online, you know, on Google or something, and you're, you want to try to find it, if somebody's, I know the Missouri, I must have got the last one, because, uh, yesterday when I went on there to check for something that I was looking for, um, it was, it set out of stock, so I must have got the last Missouri kit they had in stock, so, but anyway, yeah, I'm sure you'll find it, there's other place, I think Mega Hobby carries it, um, there's a few other websites that I did see, and they're all within a dollar, of, in the price range of what I paid at free free time was the cheapest most other places were like a dollar more so um, But shipping made a difference too Like I said if you spent over a hundred dollars at free time hobbies It was flat rate shipping 695 no matter how much you added to the order after that. So um, That's pretty cool. There's a place I deal with for um, the Bandai kits uh, up in Wisconsin They do that too. They got a flat rate shipping with your order one kit or 20 kits it's one price for shipping so um anyway uh that's gonna do it for this this video so thanks to all my subscribers thanks to all my new subscribers thanks for hitting the like button thanks for the, leaving me the great comments everybody have a very happy new year's eve and a happy new year and a healthy one and stay safe out there and we'll talk to you in a little bit with a, the next um out of box review of the uss missouri battleship bb 63 yep that's it bb 63 okay take care we'll talk to you soon bye